What's going on, Solid Steppers, Tech the Titans? This is Miss Ward coming to you. I'm chilling over in Crestview. Just finished a podcast with EJ over at Service Alliance. Shout out to my people. You need to make sure you go ahead and get that all access membership. They got a great mastermind coming out. All y'all people that's begging me for consultations, that's your best bet. You're going to be surrounded with people who can help you in your business no matter where you are. And you got that great price of $199. Let me explain something to you. You can't talk to me for $199. So get your ass over there and sign up for Service Alliance and get some games, some long-term games from guys who really want to help you out and level you up. Now that I did that uh, commercial for their ass, let's talk about the topic. The topic of today is, once again, systems. You know, it irks me to no end when I watch people pay for a service, workies, house call, whatever it is, and then they don't flesh out the service. You don't explore every end of it, but then want to complain what you're paying every month. Even you guys with these call centers or whatever you're doing. Everybody structure their business differently, but most of y'all ass is throwing shit at the wall seeing if it stick. Let's just be real about it. Stop playing that game. It's 2023. So be a real businessman and woman and find out where your faults are and fix them. It ain't that hard. Like right now, I've been having this whole issue with uh, my workspace with Adman Google because I put some things in place. And as the business has changed, I got to go back to the back end of that program and readjust some. And I've been putting that shit off and off and off. And I'm like, you know what? You know, emails are not going in the right direction. You got to go to multiple places. Just bring it together. It'll take you 10, fuck, excuse me, 10 minutes. I was about to go there because y'all know how I am. But the reality is how many things can you just pause for a minute, get it cleaned up to make your life work easier. So go back and look at your systems. Upgrade what you need to really understand the system because part of y'all problem is y'all want to plug and play and not understand that. Like everybody else is supposed to do everything for you. You still have to manage those systems. And I don't understand why is that so difficult. I mean, look, we all want to set it and forget it, but that's some lazy stuff. The reality is that's how your ass get got. That's how people go in the back door and take everything you got from accounting to everything else. But that's a different conversation. The reason why it just irks me when I see, like I hear people say, I turned everything over to my accountant. I turned it over to my bookkeeper. It's nothing wrong with employing these people and turning them over, but do you understand how the basics work? Do you understand the touch points to check to make sure you're not being taken advantage of? Do you truly understand your system? You people have given up so much data. Why stop now? At least make it work and understand how it works. That's all I'm saying. You cannot call yourself a business professional if you don't understand these systems. I was listening to the young man, I think it's Daryl the Finisher. Go check out his channel. Great guy. Um, great information. And that's what another thing about the trades. Y'all asses better learn how to learn from all the trades because the same issues we deal with in appliance repair, they deal with HVAC, they deal with it in plumbing, they deal with it in pressure washing, they damn so deal with it in the handyman business. Now, if, it, if that's one business that I will tell you toe for toe, that's why you need to follow Daryl the finisher. Gives a lot of game over there, but he also is real authentic. It's very hard to find YouTube YouTubers that you can vet that are authentic. So I'm definitely signing off on him. That's my guy. You know, he was giving some props over there to Mike Sneed and ABC. So, hey, you definitely, I'm all down for you. You know, just that's another thing I want to talk about. You know, there's a lot of people who have come out and really tried to help people, tried to make their programs economical and, and you know, reasonable and work with people. And there are people who don't want to pay for anything. And when someone lowers the price to help y'all out, y'all do some of the most gutter. Y'all think, I'm just going to tell you the truth. I was sitting here talking to somebody, and they were talking about how in some markets the prices are so low because people thought they was going to be able to get in the game, learn just a little bit, and make a million dollars. Where we do that at? Where they do that at? Help me to understand. There's nothing you can do, set it and forget it, learn a little bit of information, and make money. There's nothing you can do. 
And I mean nothing because as you get to the money scales up in order to get to that next level, there's a part of there's some expertise and mastery that has to be there, which is why Miss Ward is always on ride alongs, always teaming up with people to learn more. Not only do I do my stuff, but I'm always under somebody because I know where their strengths are and where my weaknesses are. The only way I can get my stuff together is I have to be with people who are great at what I want to do well. It's not that hard, but I'm also not going over there with the BS. I'm not going over there empty-handed. I'm not going over there not bringing to the table. And I'm definitely not going over there trying to hustle their ass because I need a long-term relationship with people who have skill sets and things that I not only want to learn, embrace, but enhance in my life. That's called give and take for y'all losers that don't know that. I can't stand these haters, man. Yeah, I'm talking about your punk ass sitting there watching me and hating at the same time. I can't we're going to pray for y'all. I'm going to tell I'm going to holler over at TKEJ and the crew over there, the Bible thumpers. Let them holler at you because I'm just going to call it like it is. You know, I know God ain't done with me. My name ain't Jesus. And I, I, I know who I am. At the same time, don't come over here with the okie doke. Miss Ward is going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. Everybody knows somebody. Every time you turn around, they leeching off your ass and they bringing nothing to the table. Just cut them off. Now that I, I digress, let me get back on topic. Get your systems in place um, and don't leave them. Go back and find them. Like right now, I'm looking at multiple structures. And you know how you go look at something, you be like, damn, that's a lot of stuff to do. But then I had to really calm myself down and say, Miss Ward, do a little bit at a time. Just do a little bit at a time. Let's focus on this one piece, get it right. And then as we level up on these other pieces, they will fall into place. If you think your business is perfect, you're an idiot. Nobody's business is perfect. Because, I, I, prime example, it's just like Chick-fil-A. I tell people all the way, all the time, you want to learn how to hire the right employee Get in, get behind the scenes at Chick Fil A and see what they use. They don't lower their standards, no matter where they are, no matter whether how close they are to the hood, how deep they in the suburbs, whatever. They are consistent, and that's why y'all ass be up in there, even on Sunday when they close. If you could get in there, you know. But that is a business model that's tried and true because they have they got the blueprint. I mean, you can't not the hustle. It is what it is. So now what you got to do is find the blueprint that works for you, and then you got to tailor it and fine-tune it. Those of you that went to ABC might put a great blueprint out there. Now take it and make it work for you and build upon it. This is what I keep trying to explain, y'all. Everything you do, I have added everything from Appliantology, Master Samurai Course, TMM, um, Votech Training, Ride Alongs, um, enhancing my brand in every way simply because I am anti-social. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel, but I got it so I really don't have to do no one-on-one that I can give people game, you feel me, um, whether I want to or not. And maybe somebody with some damn sense will understand that there is no secret sauce. That is all hard work, but you got to work consistently in the in the, a direction that's going to be successful for you. The first thing you got to address, as I always tell you, is your mindset. Most of y'all, the only thing holding you back is the fact that you can't expand your mind, mentally, spiritually, or otherwise. You cannot comprehend. You always figure out, how much, how can I do that? How, I'm not going to be able to do that. Like, what about this? What You never think about expanding to where remove all the excuses i ain't never seen so many damn grown people in my life with excuses let me tell you miss ward is number one not the person to bring an excuse and tell me what you can't do and what your problems are because we all have challenges i feel like you have as many challenges as you allow in your life if it's nonsense and drama why are you even involved as an adult you can control that by making better decisions you do better when you know better, but that's a choice. Some of y'all don't want to know no better. You don't want better because you like wallowing in the murk and mire and being miserable because then you feel like, you know, you have no reason to excel. Those of us who are true Americans who really want to excel in life, we go get it. We don't have excuses. We don't have excuses. All we have is solutions and triumphs and opportunities to grow. Try it. You might like it. Find your opportunity to grow and grow the hell out of that opportunity. Believe me, 
That's why it's there. The challenge is for you to grow in, as a person. It's just like when you work out and drunk in the gym. I ain't work out every day. I ain't losing no weight. I'm okay with that. But I'm still healthy. Like, I'm solid. Like, I can probably go toe-to-toe with half y'all asses. But the point is, is that I'm consistent in everything I do. Even when I don't like me, even when I don't want to do it, I get up and do it. And that's what makes me a winner. Trust and believe. Be blessed, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Work on your systems and grow your opportunities. You feel me? Because that's what they're there for, for you to be successful. I'm signing off. Have a great day and be blessed.